pilgrimage is a way of praying with your feet. A pilgrimage is seeking something missing inside of ourselves while walking to a holy place. I am in saint jean pierre de port and I will leave tomorrow on my journey to Santiago de Compostela and further to Finisterre. I arrived today and today is May 6th, 2015. I hope tomorrow will be a nice and sunny day with almost 30 degrees. So I have decided to start my journey tomorrow. Today is the day of my departure. Every pilgrim leaving saint jean pierre de port has to pass through two gates. Behind me is the Notre Dame gate, the best preserved gate in the town. The next gate is the Spanish gate, which is in front of me. Today is May 7th, 2015, and it is 6.30 a.m. Well, let's continue our journey. Why am I walking El Camino? Perhaps I want to document my journey and to experience whether it is a spiritual or a physical route. Perhaps I want to feel the mysterious energy of the way of St. James or the Camino de Santiago or simply El Camino. And perhaps I want to separate myself from my everyday life routine and to experience walking alone 800 kilometers across northern Spain. The way of St. James was one of the most important Christian pilgrimages during the Middle Ages and today became the most famous pilgrimage site in the Christian world. Presently, Christian pilgrims and many others make their way to the shrine of the Apostle St. James in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, in northwestern Spain. The tradition placed the relics of the saint here. It has been believed that Spain has been liberated from the Moors army with the sword of St. James and eventually St. James became the patron saint of Spain. As the symbol of the Camino de Santiago, the scallop shell is seen very frequently along the trails. Many pilgrims attach the shell to their clothes or backpacks. Well, I'm walking four hours, 11.20, day is windy at the top of Pyrenees, crossing, it's not easy, it is tougher than I thought, but uh, we have to make it, just like other pilgrims. See you then.
Well, I crossed the Pyrenees from France to Spain. It took me longer than I thought, but it is done. The weather was very windy on the French side. It was so windy that we couldn't move even forward. On the Spanish side, as you see, there are trees and the wind is blocked, so it's very nice. Uh, I'll keep going. Well, now I'm going down, very steep down to Roncesvalles. It is about one hour more to go. I have no water <laughs> and I really suffer. My knee is a little bit injured. I fell down on the top of the mountain. Huh. I forgot to mention this morning that from the gate of España is 27 kilometers to Roncesvalles and exactly 800 kilometers to Santiago de Compostela. There are many kilometers to go. <laughs> Huh. That's tough, really. This is the day of suffering. Whew. Hola. Well, this is third day of my walking, perhaps 60 kilometers. There is eight more to reach Pamplona. And I believe I will stay a day longer to recover from those three days. Particularly this grueling Pyrenees Pass, still I can feel in my body. Yeah, just keep going. Fortunately, there is no rain. I like better sun than rain.
camera gear is heavy. <laughs> Hola, I can feel it. But my body will adjust. Well, it takes a long one hour and a half by bus from Pamplona to San Jose de Piet de Port and only three days to come here. So I am fast. Three days. Go to Pamplona. Yesterday was Saturday, May 9. It was a festivity of, of wine and the crowd was amazing, shoulder to shoulder. Hey, Pamplona is famous for the running bulls during the San Femin festival and Ernest Hemingway. It is held annually from July 6th to 14th. The bulls run from Carillos through the streets of Santo Domingo, Mercaderes and Estafeta to Plaza de Torres. Ernest Hemingway visited Pamplona frequently. He drank and socialized with beautiful women in its bars and cafes among others in Cafe Iruna on the Plaza de Castillo. He also enjoyed the local food and local festivities.
Today morning, day after the Red Wine Festival, runners were participating in Pamplona Marathon. Actually, when I had been preparing myself for the Camino journey, I 
I had not been contemplating much about why I wanted to walk El Camino. I had no notion whatsoever whether this walk would challenge me as a trekker or as a pilgrim. What I had known before I got here, I knew that I want to be with God created nature, that I want to admire the beauty of landscape, that I want to feel the wind on my face, feel the sunshine on my face, feel the smell in the air after it rains, and feel the mist. I knew that I want to be able to endure hardship to unknown at this point, physical challenges on the way. And I knew that I want also to feel the mysterious energy of El Camino. Well, today is hot, 33 degrees or something, very dry, so water is essential. <laughs> After five days of, of walking, finally I have come up with a good packing of my camera gear. I have always problem to take this off, set it up take a movie, put back, and uh, my tripod had no place, and fell down five times on the hard surface. As a result, it damaged three times. Fortunately, I was able to fix it, but now, today, I have figured it out how the best pack my tripod and camera, so today I have more filming and more pictures. That's a great and great relief. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Today, uh, in Puente Lorraine, people woke up 4.30. It is unbelievable. I tried to sleep longer, but I couldn't. Everybody was making noise and packing and lighting their flashlights. So I woke up, packed my stuff, and 6.30 I was on my way. <laughs> That's so easy. Total night.
today is another day. The day of the hot 35 degrees. I left Estela to Los Arcos. I am across the half of the trail climbing 700 Villa Mayor de Moniardi. It's not bad. Now there is descending trail through the fields of wheat, peaceful birds chirping, nice walk. I don't think it is tough. I'm getting better and better. Walking the road to Santiago, I'm thinking more frequently lately whether this is a spiritual or a physical route. Is the Camino a religious trek? Am I seeking to find spiritual meaning and resolution, happiness and peace, or, or moral significance between right and wrong, or good and bad? I don't know yet, but uh, perhaps I will. After all, a pilgrimage is, in a sense, a walking meditation, isn't it? A pilgrimage is perhaps a way of praying with your feet. A pilgrimage is to seek something missing inside of ourselves. Who am I? A pilgrim or a trekker? I don't know yet either. But I think, perhaps, with the time walking on El Camino and hearing the distinctive crunch and scratch of my shoes that becomes a true pleasure, I will find an answer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
line of, of uh, red wine and everywhere you walk you see the grapes growing
today is uh, what time? 10:30 Saturday, oh, May 16th, and I'm walking from from Logroño to to Ventosa. Behind me is Navarrete. It is halfway to Ventosa. Let's go. Well, it seems to me that I missed Ventosa <laughs> and I have to go to Nahera, which is 12 kilometers further away, I believe, somewhere there along those graves. Well, it's, it will give me total 30 kilometers, which I didn't plan, but well, let's continue. <laughs> the mini sheep. See it is how your feet good? Feels good?
Today I walk as I promised, promised to myself from Santo Domingo to Grogna, 7.1 kilometers only. Distance was, was short and I get in two hours. I stay right now in in the parish church of San San Juan Batista and uh, we sleep upstairs in the church. Uh, the Padre will serve our supper. We will have some prayers, meditation, and we'll attend the mass. Uh, something new then. Municipal Alberga. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I remember when I was riding on the bus to uh, Pamplona from Madrid, I've seen El Camino parallel to the highway and having five hours to go to San Repiet de Port, I was thinking, wow, gonna be time I will be walking the same road and uh, walking today I recognize oh that's the same the same El Camino and I'm walking now 12 days later that was interesting and uplifting too and tomorrow another step another walk well I have to admit that first three days when I was waking up I thought oh my goodness I was waking up with fear walking what the pain but now I'm looking forward to walking to hear my steps Gracias. 
For the last two days I didn't talk to camera. Uh, why? Because it's uh, last two days I have a rain, it's very cold, the temperature is between six and nine degrees, it's windy and I didn't feel like to unpack my backpack and set up a gear <laughs> but today I thought perhaps I need to do it uh, I stayed today in uh, Tosantos and I plan to go about 30 kilometers right now I'm passing uh, 1,200 meters a mountain what they name Villa Franca Montes de Oca and I'm heading to Ermita Val de Fuente in a few kilometers there is a 11.30 I hope to have a lunch and warm lunch and to warm up my body I'm doing quite well, physically I'm totally fit and uh, 30 kilometers is not a big problem except that it started to rain right now it's cloudy and dark <laughs> it's getting colder I have to pack my camera and, and keep going <laughs> well there is a, I am one day and a half before Burgos. Oh, 
Right now I am uh, 31 kilometers from Burgos. Uh, walked nine hours. Windy day, gets sunny at the very end. The walk was okay. Burgos, in Burgos I didn't make a film or I took very few pictures. Uh, it was very cold day, very windy and I was I, I was looking for, for some good dinner, particularly hot soup to warm up and uh, I had no <laughs> fantasy or even uh, good feelings how to what to photograph and what video and so forth um, another day on Meseta this, this was really first 30 kilometers on Meseta very beautiful it's nice uh, however there are no trees <laughs> to sit down and take a shade but um, you know a lot of puppy flowers, beautiful, everywhere. All wheat is dotted with those puppies. Looks very nice, beautiful.
Meseta, Meseta spreads from Burgos to Leon. Meseta is uh, is the plateau. Thus, the relatively flat land and the barely changing landscape and views. This land is mainly treeless <laughs> and windblown and hot in the summer and it may challenge a trekker or a pilgrim. For these reasons Meseta can be monotonous. Therefore many pilgrims and trekkers prefer skipping these 200 monotonous kilometers by a bus or a taxi. But uh, I believe if we walk them we always learn something new and uh, find out something more about ourselves. Walking on Meseta someone may find spiritual meaning, someone may find a sense of calm and peace and balance which uh, may result in enhanced physical and emotional well-being. Well, I took a longer break up here on the walk from, from Mista to Canon de los Condes. I walked perhaps 15 kilometers and have 5 kilometers more. I was very tired after yesterday's 40 kilometers walk. My body was totally exhausted. Yeah, that's nice. Fields behind me, and there are two alternative walks one on this side, one on that side. This is road walk, this is a trail walk. That's what I prefer to choose. Yeah. Uh, I've met, on the way, I met people that I recognized and they were familiar to me from the back. And people that were familiar to me from their front, from their faces. And uh, knowing people from the back, I didn't know their faces. And after a few days, I started to join them together to combine oh this guy with that backpack and that sleeping pad has a that's this guy <laughs> so <laughs> after days I start to combine them together they are more familiar I know this guy with this type of shoes is that guy a Dutchman that's what we had dinners and breakfast and I didn't know how he looked from the back and finally oh yeah that's the that guy um, another impression when I met 
for the greeners. They they are so happy to see the this beautiful scenery of Meseta, open space, vast vistas, and they are so joyful to see this beauty. And I think people coming from all countries around the world, they think it is the most beautiful scenery they see, but I believe that in their own country they may see the same beauty simply because of the past life and modern life they have no time to explore more what they see in their own country or they come here because the El Camino mysticity or spirituality perhaps Today is the day of pain or El Camino fatigue to me. I got a shin problem on my left leg yesterday and I'm walking very slowly with pain and I did 16 kilometers in six hours, six and a half. And I decided to stay in that village or Pueblo to take a rest. Wind is strong and getting stronger. Meseta takes its toll. <laughs> another day of my shin pain of the left leg. I'm moving slowly, very slowly, like a turtle. And it hurts. Every kilometer or kilometer or half I have to sit down and massage for at least 15-20 minutes and move on. It takes very slow. Uh, what I did cover one day, now I have to do in two and a half days. 
and I don't know how how long it will last. Uh, I'm a little concerned. I can do everything as I planned, but I will try. Hey, hi, dog. Lady and dog walking El Camino, and I see dog has boots on his front paws. Perhaps he suffers also El Camino. <laughs> he suffers also El Camino. trying to cover 25 kilometers tomorrow and <laughs> I don't know whether I will do it. Anyway, there is two days, from this point is two days to Leon. And this road leads to Leon, El Camino, two days from now. I settled today in uh, Barcianos del Camino and I walked from San Nicolas, 17 kilometers, slowly but with a little pain than before. I hope it may be an indication that something is improving with my muscles, and uh, we'll see. Let's keep this way, no rain yet. It is my 23rd day of walking and I'm entering today Lyon uh, with pain. Uh, the shin is not not going to go away. And what I learned walking through Meseta is that uh, walking through this relatively flat road to Santiago uh, it may contribute to to many knee ankle and shin problems I don't want and many pilgrims suffered the same thing and uh, I am one of them <laughs> well anyway this is 10 more kilometers, I guess, to be in Leon. And I'm considering to stay a day longer. But day longer will not fix, I know. This is at least a week or two weeks to do nothing. I don't know how long I can bear this pain. to Santiago leads along the highways right now so it is not so funny to walk and see those cars running on the left or the right side.
Ah, uh, yes, I left Leon today morning. In spite of the fact that I plan to stay one day more to get a rest and to have a hope that my leg will be stronger. But I left this town this, this morning uh, and I am like 10 or 12 kilometers away of, of uh, Leon toward uh, Mazarife where I'm planning to stay overnight. Uh, I wanted to explore Leon more because it is very old Spanish town and very rich in history but it requires a walking around and I didn't feel like to exacerbate my leg so I stay only in the in the old town it was Friday many many tourists and local people sitting in the bar and cafeterias and uh, having a good time Today is last day of May and I'm staying in this albergue in Mazarifa. This is my day of rest. I expect that my shin in my left leg will recover a little bit and I will be able to continue my walk to Santiago de Compostela. Uh, this albergue is lovely right now at 10 o'clock. Nobody is here except me and I enjoy this peaceful time uh, doing laundry. <laughs> A backyard is very green and uh, I can enjoy this time off. So. There is a little facility out there, so every pilgrim can do laundry outdoor. So now is the reading time. I'm reading uh, the pilgrimage by Paolo Coyello, I think. <laughs> Uh, my laundry is done, is drying.
Pra ganhar, né? Porque ninguém ganha não. Ninguém ganha nada dele. É. Today, I'm walking from uh, Santibanes de Valde Iglesias to Santa Catalina de Samosa through a larger town, Astorga, with a fantastic uh, monumental cathedral. However, as <laughs> Normally on the Camino way all cathedrals are closed and you have to purchase museo ticket between 6 and 9 euro which is <laughs> quite uh, expensive for many pilgrims and bes besides takes time. Uh, today was very interesting day when I have started this morning and I made the first steps Relatively, I didn't feel pain in my left leg. I was walking gentle all the time and the pain is relatively very low. And I have a hope that I can see some improvement. And mountains are behind this hill, you can see and they will rise to 1500 meters and that's gonna be a major obstacle to Ponferrada uh, where I should be in three or four days um, that's a good hope uh, beautiful scenery green bushes I don't know what the flowers are and, uh,
Right now I'm approaching the Pueblo Santa Catalina de Samosa where I will be staying tonight behind Santa Catalina de Samosa you can see the 1500 meters mountain Mountains de Leon that needs to be passed tomorrow Santa Catalina is another crumbling village typical of the region in both its layout and population now reduced to 50 persons it evokes a sense of loss or perhaps a reminder of less rushed time
Do you know who is your the best friend on the road to Santiago? I guess you know. They are your feet. <laughs> People are washing them carefully, caressing, <laughs> massaging, <laughs> drying them up lubricating with different creams, fixing different stuff, always watching them from the top to the bottom. <laughs> because El Camino likes your feet healthy. If your feet are healthy, you are happy to walk. Otherwise, it is not a pleasure. <laughs> and at this point, of this cross when people throw the rocks with their wishes there is so many people complaining having ache of their knees and ankles and blisters and they are not so happy fortunately my shin pain disappeared two days ago and I could cross this mountain and climb them to this point with virtually no pain. That perhaps is a miracle.
camino.
Alicia. At this point, 7.25, I'm crossing border between Castilla y León and Galicia. It took me 32 days and one hour. <laughs> uh, there is still four or five days to go to Santiago de Compostela and maybe three days to Penistera. I got to this point quite good condition. My leg is fixed. I can move forward and uh, tourists are coming right now. So I will keep going to have a breakfast in uh, uh, Osobi Sobiero. That's my destination point this morning to have a breakfast and continue further. Hey! Hola. Hola. So there is kind of traffic right now, but they go from the village below. I stay in Laguna, but they stay in Fabia, so they woke up much earlier perhaps. They are on the way since 6 a.m. Uh, this climbing is quite tough, requires some <laughs> energy to spend, <laughs> but scenery is beautiful crossing this pass of mountain, and the uh, sun is raising. We had a rain yesterday afternoon, but didn't bother me, I was in Alberga. Right now, I'm walking through Galicia, or the last phase of the Camino. By walking in Galicia, or shortly before it, that is in Castilla y Leon, a pilgrim encounters mountains again. A pilgrim encounters changes in colors and landscape, and perhaps changes within us. By that time we have, I have reason to believe that we have learned some life lessons and we are used to walking uh, and uh, hearing the nature, listening to the wind and tripping birds and of course listening to the distinctive crunch and scrunch of our shoes which uh, becomes a true enjoyment. By that time, we have certainly found spiritual meaning in our life. We have found a resolution. Uh, we have found the distinction between right and wrong, or good and bad.
At this point today, I am uh, 120 kilometers from Santiago de Compostela and uh, perhaps 15 kilometers to Saria. From Saria to Santiago de Compostela will be crowded because most of the people come to Saria to walk 100 kilometers to get Santiago de Compostela certification. Uh, but the walk from Sargent de Pied de Port to <laughs> Santiago de Compostela for some reason is not counted. Anyway, uh, just interesting. Um, this is my 32 days of walking and uh, I would like to share my observation uh, concerning who walks Santiago de Compostela. Uh, I've seen cyclists and people walking. As to the people, I was thinking whether they are pilgrims or walkers. I found there is a group of people that I can call them pilgrims because they begin this journey to to find themselves to find better relation with God they pray they have some unanswered questions and they hope that God will lead them to understand them better they share their pain and difficult moment in their lives and they hope that God will listen and will lead them through this difficult moments in their life but a great number of people they walk they walk they have a headphones, they listen to music, they barely look all around what the beautiful landscape is and, uh, and they rush from alberga to alberga and once they're in alberga they talk about how many kilometers they uh, walk today, 35 or 40, how many days they walk from Sergeant and Pierre, or 20 days, 30 days, that's their goal. And barely I can see those people who even enter churches or, or interesting historical sites because this part of Spain is extremely rich in history. Uh, but they walk only, they go as fast as they can to Santiago. Uh, and this raised the question to me, who am I? Santiago de Compostela is there, 120 kilometers to go. Am I pilgrim or I am walker? I will find the answer in the Cathedral Santiago de Compostela. There is uh, five days more to go.
Behind me is Melinda and I walked today from Ligonda. My plan is to walk 29 kilometers today and I have approximately 5 kilometers to go. It may take about 2 hours, maybe one and a half. And I decided yesterday to change my route from 20 kilometers to about 28, 29 kilometers daily to get into Santiago de Compostela on Friday. I was told by one of the pilgrims that on Friday 7 p.m. Santiago de Compostela Cathedral have a holy mass at 7 p.m. with uh, this huge waving sand uh, during the holy mass and I would like to, to be there I just walk approximately 750 kilometers and uh, in two days I will complete my journey Perhaps I will go to Fenistera, but I will see that, depending on the weather. Uh, in two days I will finish, and I'm thinking walking about it, and I know that for some few days I will miss daily walking, everyday wind in my face, and sun, and the smell of, of the wheat, white flowers, farmers' villages, cows, pigs, chickens. That's when you walk, you are exposed on the day, daily basis. Of course, there are pieces of walk quite long when you walk next to the road and the highways. So there is not nice smell of the cars, but uh, that's the El Camino. It's not only beautiful scenery and vistas, but also a lot of parallel path to local roads and even highways. And not everyone is talking about it, but this is quite substantial length in kilometers. Uh, it was very cold today. I was dressed fully and I was just frozen. And cold wind, low temperature, I said, well, about in the middle of the day. 
but you see now it's sunny day and short sleeve it's nice it's not hot not moist it's pleasurable and I hope this wonderful weather will hold to Santiago de Compostela and let's walk Well, today I have only 18 kilometers to Santiago de Compostela and I have to admit it was the most uh, amazing and unpredictable day. Uh, I have met three guys uh, with whom I have started this journey in Sajon de Pied de Port. Troy from uh, Texas, Michael from Canada, and Filippo from 
Italy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Day before entering Santiago de Compostela, I get in touch with them once more. A uh, lot of joy and a lot of talk on the way. Uh, I don't know when they will stay. I, I have no clue where they will stay, but I'm heading to uh, be about 14 kilometers before Compostela. Whether I will get albergue, that's another question. Uh, there is a mass of people uh, moving to Santiago. Uh, once, because Saria is a converging point of all El Caminos from Europe, and many people have started in, in this Saria. So on the way, <laughs> there is a, a crowd of people moving. Well, today is a day of entering Santiago de Compostela. It took 37 days and uh, I will be there. So, let's go and fly. And here I am at the Santiago de Compostela Cathedral. It is 7.23 morning. I woke up 5.30 and was on my way since 6. I've been 5 kilometers off the cathedral and as you see, nobody yet here. Looks like I am first. <laughs> 37 days of walking. And I got here. The question I raised a few days ago whether am I pilgrim or a walker I don't know yet but we'll find out
sino eh, además fortalecidos por la experiencia de la peregrinación. Well, this holy mass in this uh, Santiago de Compostela Cathedral completes my journey completes my journey as as a pilgrim. Yeah. Yes, I was not a walker or a tourist. Walking El Camino, I have learned that my goal was not to cover miles and uh, check things of of my list and uh, catch a glimpse of what next yes I walked the entire Camino as a pilgrim I uncovered that I went on a long spiritual journey both with a religious and moral purpose to enter a sacred place a pilgrimage is a way of praying with your feet pilgrimages to seek something missing inside of ourselves. If you unveiled the way to live a life according to God's will and you unveiled the distinction between right and wrong and uh, you unveiled a sense of calm, happiness, peace and balance, then you have walked to a sacred place as a pilgrim where God made himself known to others.
Today is uh, June 14th, Sunday, and after two days in Santiago de Compostela, I am on my way to Fenisterra. I am three and a half hours walking from Santiago de Compostela with no breakfast, but I, I got something, and uh, I'm keep keep going to the to the first stop that I will stay in Alberga, probably 21 kilometers, about four hours from now. Uh, Fenisterra, it is the end of the land, end of the earth. It is one of the farthest piece of European land to the to the west and uh, I will be there in three and a half days and we'll see we will see uh, from Santiago de Compostela I am walking this part as a walker but still spirituality of pilgrimage is inside of you so I can keep both a pilgrimage and as a pilgrim and as a walker, let's be a walker and let's continue. Finally, I'm reaching the end of the air. You can see ocean behind me, east part of Atlantic Ocean. And I will reach Fenisterra tomorrow, but I'm glad I'm here. I walked three days from Santiago de Compostela to this point. For two days I was not recording any footage or didn't take any images. Perhaps I had Camino fatigue. And also, it was not much interesting. A lot of walk on the asphalt, local asphalt road. And I didn't feel like to, to do something with my camera or talk to the camera. Today was nice, a lot of walk on the nice, nice trail, soft sandy surface, windy as you can hear and uh, tomorrow my walk with, 
will end. Walking, I was thinking, well, what do I, I will do after that? How I will accommodate to the with the civilization to be in the city, to be surrounded by the city noise and cars and people and stores and shops. There will be no more walking. <laughs> but uh, Finisterra tomorrow gonna be 42nd day. This will end my journey. I'm glad. I'm here. Thanks God for giving me strength and moral support and psychological support. It was very important. going. Yes, uh, Finisterra, the end of the world. I will be there in a few hours, at the very end. Forty-two days. Physically. Perfecto. <laughs> Nothing to complain. I'm glad I get there. It's good to be here. Yeah, let's roll.
end of the world, zero kilometers. All El Caminos are converging in Santiago de Compostela and the road goes to Penistre with zero kilometers. Or you start from here and go to the end in reverse direction, different El Caminos. Yo llego. Yo llego. I arrive. Yo llego.